in today's show. It's time for a little ADP check using the data from the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Bowl drafts. Michael Bolton. Thanks, Josh. It's Michael Bolton here, and it's time for another episode of the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, indeed. You are Locked On Fantasy Basketball, your daily fantasy basketball podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast brought to you by Basketball Monster. My name is Josh Lloyd and I am the lead fantasy analyst at basketballmonster.com. And you can find me on Twitter as always at RedRock underscore Beeble and on Instagram at Locked On Fantasy Basketball. Thank you for making Locked On Fantasy Basketball your first listen every day. We are free. We are available on all platforms. I'll tell you this right now. This show might be a little bit dry, but I think it is important. It is 30 drafts across the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Bowl for category leagues. I'm not going to do the points league one because the points league drafts haven't finished. We've got three of those still going. I will do one of those later. And it's just going to be me reading off ADP data as well as highest position picked and lowest position picked. It's a 30 draft sample. Yes, it is skewed by the majority of these people, if not all of these people being people who listen to this show or use Basketball Monster or follow me on Twitter. But I think it also gives us an accurate idea versus some of the crazy ADP stuff that we see on ESPN or that we see on Yahoo. These are 30 leagues with people who take it serious, who are very into fantasy basketball. And it's not just all following my ideas. As you'll see, there are sometimes wide ranges of 50, 60 spots in the way that players get drafted. You also don't see this very often. Highest spot drafted and lowest spot drafted. That's what I'm going to be looking at with these as well. I'm going to go all the way up to ADP number 120. I will have a link to a Google Sheet that has all of the raw data in there that you can look at, including average, medium, uh, minimum, and maximum spots. We'll have all that in a separate Google Sheet that I will link in the description uh, of this podcast, audio-wise, or in the description here on YouTube as well. So it might be a little bit dry. Just let it run. We'll see if people actually enjoy this, but I think it is pretty interesting to see this ADP data across these 30 leagues. Warnie. Let's get it on, Gilly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Not a surprise at all. Actually, maybe a little bit of a surprise. Nikola Jokic went at number one in every single league. Number one right across the board. Okay. Giannis had an ADP of 2.2. He went either two, three, or four. We expected that. I didn't expect this. Embiid came in third with an ADP of 3.7. As high as two, as low as eight. What league did he go in eight? Eight, that is a big slide. Doncic was next with an ADP of 4.4. His range was tighter between three and six. I'm surprised there wasn't at least one league where the people went, oh, his turnovers, his free throws, they kill me. He's actually the 29th ranked player because all nine categories equal matter. Uh, they matter equally, so we'll drop him right down. Now, again, that may be only be one person in the draft, but I'm just shocked to see that he never fell past six. Harden, 5.1 with a three to eight range. Again, I got him at pick 17 in the 30 deep league, which was wild to me. Kevin Durant, 5.6. A pretty wide range there. He went at 10 in one of the drafts. He also went at 2. Huh. Tatum went at 7.5 with a highest of 3. That is early. And a lowest of 11. And LaMelo Ball, which was all before the injury. or Yeah, it was all before the injury. An ADP of 9 with a highest of 7. But he went 15 in some leagues. I'd love to see which league that was that he went 15 and who was taken ahead of him. 13, I can see. 15 means that he went LeBron ahead of him and then maybe Davis or maybe Kyrie. I don't know. Who else would have gone ahead of him? It must have been those guys. Interesting stuff, I think. Pretty sure it's interesting. Steph had an ADP of 9.4 with a 6 to 12 range. Not really a surprise, I think. Um, Towns. 10.7 10.7 ADP with a 7 to 15 range. 15, I think, is where... I've got him at like 13, sorry. So, your 15 is late. Don't think I would go... I'm not against it, though. Trey Young, 10.7 as well, with a 6 to 14 range. He's probably more in the 8 to eight to 12, I think. Um, maybe you go 6. But, of course, there is um, DeJounte Murray uncertainty. And then Halliburton, with an ADP of 11. He went at 2. In one league, shout out to Zach Hanshu. 
He went at 16 in another one. So that I don't get. Everyone in that league passing over him. And then you're taking Davis, Kyrie, LeBron, all ahead of him. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Although, again, he went at 19 in the 30 deep league. Lillard had an ADP of 12. And there's your first round, basically, or your first round plus one. Done. He had a highest pick of nine Lillard and a lowest of 15. I think Lillard could go seven. Interesting, he only went at nine as his highest position. And then we go into these second round guys. So which second round guys were able to sneak into the first round? There's only really two of, or three of them. And two of them play for the Lakers. One of them is LeBron James. LeBron James. Who had an ADP of 15.1. He went as high as eight and as low as 21. 21 is low. And then there's Anthony Davis, who had an ADP of 15.7 and also went as high as eight. That league where he went at, at eight, everyone else after that would have been loving it. Especially the person at number 10. Meaning they would have got a really strong pick at 10, then 14. Yeah, 10, no, 11 and 14, sorry. Um, even the, the 10 and 15 guy would have been loving it. 20, 20, he went down to 21. I'm surprised he never fell out of the second round, Davis. But eight, wow. Kyrie had an ADP of 16.2. He went as high as 13. That means he's going ahead of either Lillard or Towns or Halliburton. That's pretty wild. I think Kyrie locks in as four, number 15. He went down to 22. So never fell out of the second round. I would have expected at least in one draft he fell out of the second round, but it didn't happen. So there's your top, how many of those, top, top 16 guys. Kyrie Davis filling out those last two spots after the first 14, which I think is settled. And then Kyrie and Davis fill up the next two spots, which was a little bit of a surprise to me. Um, next group, Devin Booker had an ADP of 16.6. He went as high as 14, as low as 23, never falling out of round two. Paul George had an 18.2 with the highest of 14, a lowest of 24, never falling out of the second round. And I think he should be in the top 20, Paul George. And then there was Bam Adebayo, who had a pretty big range of outcomes. Bam, 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 bam. His ADP was 22, but he went up to 17 and as low as 31. It's like middle to back end of the... Well, yeah, a bit after the, the middle of round three. Huh. Cade Cunningham had a higher ADP or lower ADP, however you want to phrase it, than Edwards, 22.4 for Cunningham. 22 point... Oh, let's play the sound. My name is Richie Cunningham. 22.4 for Cunningham. 22.8 for Goose. Although Edwards topped out at pick 15, whereas Cunningham didn't go any higher than 17. Uh, Cunningham also fell to 29 in one draft and Edwards fell to 30. Sabonis had an ADP of 23.1. He went as high as 17 and fell as low as 30. And this is the other one, Rudy Gobert, the other one of these guys that made it into the first round. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. He's got an ADP of 23.3. I am seeing him go more and more in the top 20 now, but he went as high as 9 in a league. That was someone who's definitely gone, I'm punting free throws, and he's come out as a ninth best player in punt free throws, so therefore I'm drafting him there. That is a crazy pick. You could have taken somebody else at nine and then got him at pick 15 on the way back around. That's crazy. It's also crazy that he fell to 33. The team with Giannis or Luca didn't think he'd be a good pairing? I don't know. And then Kawhi, who made it into that second round group, 23.7 is his ADP. The highest Kawhi went was 17. I thought he might sneak into the 15 spot. He didn't get there. And he fell as low as 29. I thought we would see a 34, 35 for Kawhi back in the third round. But people are feeling a little bit more confident with him. Again, he, he played in the preseason. There were people two months ago, oh, I'm not sure if Kawhi is going to be ready for the start of the year, which was always insane. But there were people that feared that. And you see what happens as, well, we actually saw him on the court and now we're ready to go and we feel... Uh, or they feel a little bit better about it. I feel a little bit better, or in fact, I feel very good about telling you that betonline.net is your number one source for all of your football betting info this season. You can find all the latest player developments, team matchups, news, podcasts, and in-depth articles and analysis on every game you can find. As always, BetOnline is your continued source for all sports wagering information with live betting and up-to-the-minute scores for every sport out there. Thursday Night Football, the Commanders, the Commies, up against the Chicago Bears. 
I think the Bears wearing their reverse helmet, the orange helmet, that's pretty sick. That might be the most exciting thing about that game. It is an absolute pick em on Bet Online with a total of 38. So get ready for an absolute barn burner, a 19 19 scorigami for the, the, the Commanders and the Bears. That's what that spread of zero and the total of 38 might indicate. Of course, it's not going to happen. But anyway, whatever you need for uh, whatever sport it is, Major League Baseball, playoffs, NBA, NHL, MMA, boxing, golf, Bet Online has it. So head to betonline.net. Or use your mobile de- device to learn more. Bet online is where the game starts. Dejounte Murray heads up the next group. Twenty four point five was his ADP. He went as high as eighteen, with a low of thirty four. Thirty four is pretty low for Dejounte. I'm surprised no one reached up to fifteen for him. But people, I guess, uh, yeah, there was a time when he was ranked at seven on ESPN and like eleven on Yahoo, I think it was. Jamarant, 26.3. He also went at 18. That seems pretty crazy to me in a category league. 35 was where he fell to. Makes sense. And then Siakam at 26.3 with a 20 to 34 range. And Van Vliet at 26.8 with a 19 to 35 range. Zion was one I was really intrigued in looking at, and we got it here. 29.4 and ADP average, a middle of third round. He went 13 in one of the leagues. That is very high. I love Zion. That is very high in a category. It's too high. 22, 23. I can see it. He also went 36, which is getting pretty low. Um, Yeah. Jimmy Butler, 30.3. Never got higher than 22. Now, we know per game he was better than that last season, but the consistent missed time with Butler hurts people. And he went as far, far down as 40. I was surprised to see that Porzingis, even though I do like him, was this high. Porzingis. 30.9. This was before he hurt his ankle. He's going to be fine. He had a highest pick of 22. Wow. And a lowest of 39. I would love him in 39. 22 is high. And then Darius Garland, 31.9. Interestingly, going ahead of Donovan Mitchell, which I think is correct. He went as high as 25, which I don't like, but as low as 43, which I think is really good value there. Brad Beal at 34.3. Never was able to crack higher than 24, which surprises me. Two years ago, he was like 12th or 13th. Yeah, he struggled last season. But again, a lot of fantasy people, sometimes me included, we have one-year memories. Well, Bill sucked. Lillard's injury prone. Like this, I hear this. We have one-year memories. Now, I, I don't advocate for Bill in the top 20 at all. I just thought someone might have taken a crack. 22 to 44 was his range. And Don Mitchell at 34.6. He's Don. He's good. He went as high as 25, which I hate, as low as 44, which I love. Chris Paul at 35.1. Someone took him at 21. Ballsy. Maybe. And then as low as 45, that is amazing value at 45. And I think this Drew Holiday one is pretty good as well. 36.2 is Drew's average ADP, end of the third round, which in this draft with third round reversal was the team that picked Jokic. He went as high as 29, as low as 46. Anytime Drew Holiday falls into round four, it's a really good value, I think. DeRozan at 39.2. He was 21st last season, but no one bought it. His highest spot was 30. His lowest was 49. Now, 49 is way too low for DeRozan. I guess there is a world that he does repeat what he did last season, but no one seemed to buy it. I think 30, 32, 33 is is totally fine. But again, no one higher than 30. No one thought of him as a second round guy. Evan Mobley at 39.2. Pretty big range here from 27 to 49. It's two rounds difference. I don't like him going in yeah, the start of round three, which is what that 27 is. I, I don't think that makes any sense. I think with the scarcity of blocks, him going at 49 is pretty wild as well. That's round five. And he does struggle with free throws. And we worry about whether he's going to be able to get that boost in usage with the arrival of Mitchell. And he was outside the top 50 last season. But you don't really... I didn't expect him to go that late. Shea Gildas alexander average of 40. 40.2. He went as high as 27, was low as 48. That's low. Like that 40 is pretty low. I think he's a third round guy. That 48, you'd be loving. And then Zach Levine, the skater boy at 41.7. I talked about this with Kingy yesterday on the mock draft with a one-year memory. Last season, Levine, second round every everywhere. Every person drafted him round two, basically. And now it's like, you're not touching the first two and a half rounds. Maybe we'll go back end of the third. But in general, we're going fourth. It's one year. 
and I I don't disagree that this is where he projects out. But again, I just yeah, I thought there'd be a little bit and him falling to fifty two is pretty crazy to me. I don't know what the hell is going on in that league where he's in the fifth round. That is that's pretty crazy to see him fall that far. Jarrett Allen was at forty two. Highest of 29, down to 52. He should go top 50 with the dearth of bigs. Vooch, the big fella. It's Vooch. It's big Vooch. Vooch is it. Vooch a bitch. Look at these three big men in a row. 42.1 for Vooch with a 31 to 54 range. 31, I feel, is too high. And then DeAndre Ayton at 42.2. He went at 28 with the highest pick and 52 with the lowest. Some pretty big ranges on those guys. There's a huge range also on De'Aaron Fox, who's next on this list. 42.4. He went as high as 29, which is probably sneaking too high, but as low as 59, which is insanely low. Yes, he has bad free throws, but there is definitely someone in this league who has subpar free throws who should have grabbed him earlier. Scotland Barnes with another big range. He was average 44. He went at 24, the end of the second round. The end of the second round, what? That That is actually crazy to me. That is insane that he went at 24. 40, he has struggled a little bit in preseason. Yes, we know that. And that 55 is actually probably about right. I'm seeing him go in the 50s a lot more now. But that 24 is wild. Not as wild as Miles Turner, who has an ADP of 44.1. And when it's 17, someone's gone, I need blocks. Maybe it was that Go Barely. I mean, shit, we've got to get blocks. 17 is... It's it's madness. What is going on? I, 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 even, I don't see how he even reaches this per game unless he blocks four shots a game. That is crazy. But also, he fell to 60. What? The, what? Why would he fall to 60? Some of these ranges are insane. Rogier at 46. This was before the Lamello ball injury. 46 ADP. 37 highest, 53rd lowest. I think that probably nudges up three or four spots now. And then Chris Middleton has an ADP of 47. I love that. As high as 37, as low as 55. Get Chrissy in uh, 55. Yeah, you're good about that. You feel pretty good. Desi Bain at 48.5 ADP with the highest of 34 and the lowest of 56. I've been all over the map with Brooks because I was Brooks with Bain because I was worried about Brooks and the shot attempts in preseason. It's all gone to Bain. And Brooks is actually taking a step back. Whether that lasts into the regular season, I don't know. But Bain might be a third round player. Don't think yeah, again, I I can't really settle on Bain. I'm sort of all over the place with him. At the moment, I'm looking at him as like a fourth round guy, maybe third. Jalen Brown. JB, you've done it again. ADP of 49, highest of 38, lowest of 55. And then Ben Simmons snuck into the top 50, 49.5 with the highest of 34 and the lowest of 64. On many other sites, he's going in the 80s. These guys here, everyone's either convinced what I said, I think he's a good value, or they are just you know, sharper than what's going on on those other sites. It's a big, big discrepancy. I told you that I think the delicate dancer, El Pren Shingun, is getting priced out. It's a delicate dance in just 17 steps. Yeah, he is. His ADP is at 52.7. It's too high. I know it's hard to find senders. It is too high. Highest of 43, lowest of 63rd. I love Shengun. I think he can be a really good player. But as I have stressed millions of times, watch that it doesn't get priced out. I have some concerns with fouls and usage and efficiency. Yeah, if you want to reach a little bit early because you need a big, but that's on average at 53, it's so high. Ingram at 53.4. Somehow he fell to 64 in a league. Don't know how. And then Jalen Green at 57. Jalen Green going on average behind Shengun is pretty crazy to me. Green, 49 was his highest pick. 64 was his lowest. I can easily see him as a top 40 player. Easily. Joshy Giddy, 57.1. You know, if you want to count turnovers, he was like 180th or something last season. You shouldn't. Um, the fact that no one thought that he was worse than 68th, He's pretty eye-opening. He's been really good in preseason. He's going to have percentage issues. He's going to have usage issues. Um, 57.1. I wasn't sure that would be the case. And then Jonas Valanciunas. Jonas Valanciunas. An ADP of 58. Now, he often goes around 52. He's as high as 44, but fell to 75. I think he could be 70th or 80th this season. I think that is distinctly possible. Big range here on Yucca Pirtle. 58.3 was his average. He went from 41 to 83. Tank, trade, free throw percentage are all issues. 41 is too high. McCullum at 49.7. That's actually pretty good value for CJ. 52 is his highest. He never went... I, I definitely took him in a mock higher than pick 50. 
So no one in all 30 leagues went higher than 50. Hmm. Lowest of 71. And I want to talk about Shengun getting priced out. Vassell might be as well. Average of 60.7. You can still get him in the 80s and 90s on Yahoo. 49 was the highest pick for Vassell. That's crazy. So high. And the lowest was 77. Johnny Collins at 61.1. He's rock solid, but someone reached into round four for Collins. I don't know why that would be the case. And 77, the lowest for him. Not a big range for the Jedi. But what about Scarf? OG. Blizziago stop ones. OG. Uh, you better stop OG. Ananobi at 62.6. Highest was 52. Lowest was 75. Jalen Brunson, the burner, 64.9 with the highest of 57 and the lowest of 80. You've seen me go like a 53, 54 for Brunson. So I think he's moving up there. The the old horse, Kelton Johnson. Whose horse is that? 66.3 with the highest of 51 and the lowest of 81. This was with the uncertainty around his injury, but he is fine. He is ready to go. He is playing. And then there was the double royal, Julius Randle. He had an average of 67 between 51 and 84. Someone taking Julius Randle at 51 is bold. The headmaster went at 67 on average up to 57th, which I think you'll see him going top 60 a lot more. Fell as low as 79. I have seen him fall lower than that in other spots, so interesting that it didn't really happen here. Bridges with a... Mikhail Bridges, 69.3 at highest of 55 and lowest of 84. 80, yeah, 55 is too high for me. While Jabari Smith went as high as 51. Wow. I do think he can be top 60. Um, an average of 70 with his ADP, and he went as low as 83. And cousin Kevin Porter, these are big differences as well. Again, how much of this is me liking him versus other one, everyone else being influenced by me? I, I don't know. ADP of 70 with the highest of 56 and the lowest of 88. But I think it is worth mentioning, like because you know he gets ranked at like 100, 110th on these sites. But if you're punting free throws, he's not worth that. He's 65th, he's 60th, and these rankings that. And I've I said this, I've said this on Twitter, and I call I don't call it out, but maybe I should. So many people basing their rankings or valuations of players on nine cat roto or eight cat roto, it doesn't really make sense considering that's five percent of the fantasy basketball market. So yes, Kevin Porter's value in a roto league is lower if you only care about complete balance and value and all that sort of stuff and total ranking numbers based purely on statistics. And there's a lot more nuance to it. And when the majority of category leagues are, you know, it's 12 to 1 head-to-head -head versus Roto, and then you've got all the points leagues in there, the fact that so many things like X-Rank and things are presented with a rotisserie basis behind them doesn't make a lot of sense, I, I don't think. And I tried not to approach things with that in mind. Marketing went at 70, highest of 53, lowest of 88. There's a Josh Lloyd impact in that, I'm pretty sure. Paulo Banquero at 71.2, up to 49. That is way too high for Paulo. Wow. 83 was his lowest spot, which is probably too low. And Draymond Green, what a massive, massive gap this is. His ADP 71.6. He's got to fit a team, right? The low scoring, he has, it has to make sense. He went at 49, which is maybe too high. 96. That is a big gap. And then Wendell Carter Jr., who is actually playing really well in preseason. 72.6, much tighter range, 62 to 86. I'd lean earlier than the ADP. I've been really, really impressed with what he's been doing. And interestingly, didn't think this would be the case, but Wendell was going on average higher than his teammate, Franz Wagner. <laughs> Wagner with an average of 73.2, but he did go top 50, 49th in one draft, and as low as 92. That 92 draft, those guys were sleeping. Maybe it was my draft, I don't know. He looks pretty good. Um, I talked about this on the mock draft earlier today, but Yusuf Nurkic. No question about it. I am ready to get hurt again. In this range, it's hard to find a reliable center. I am not sure he's going to be reliable. 73.5 ADP for Nurk, ADP 54, or highest 54, lowest 89. I've been told he's significantly out of shape and his minutes might be limited and production limited, especially early on. Be aware of that. Tyrese Maxey at 73.9. Highest of 56, lowest of 85. I'm shocked no one went top 40, top 50 for Maxi, given his preseason, while I guess most of those picks were made before the preseason. D'Angelo Russell at 75, with an 80, with a highest of 63 and a lowest of 88. Pretty tight range. He's going there nearly everywhere. Christian Wood, the crucifix at 75.6. He went at 55 in one draft and 92 in another. Pretty wide range there. 92 is a bit too low, I think, for Woody. And then Jordy Poole with 77 ADP. Highest 61, lowest 99. Maga Porter Jr. at 77 with a 62 to 96 range. And then Sticks, Jalen Smith. 
stand by your man. 78.6. He's going later than that in a lot of spots. And he fell actually to 97 in one of these drafts. He has struggled a little bit in the preseason. Uh, highest he was 62, which I think is probably a little bit early. We're only going to go up to the ADPs to 120 uh, in this. Clint Capella at 82.6. That's higher than I've seen him go. And he went actually at 61 in one of these leagues, but also 103. Marcus Smart, 84 with a 70 to 96 range. And Hero at 85 with the 69 to 95 range. Clay Thompson, 85 with a 65 to 106. That is broad. And PJ Washington at 86 with a 71 to 106. PJ Washington at 106 is thievery, I think. Absolute thievery. Keegan Murray, 86.5, which feels bang on. He went at 66 in one league. Eesh, that's high. And then he went at 103 in another. That's low. And then, um, who is it? Yeah, it's Kyle Lowry. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. 87 is his ADP. He went at 67, which is probably going too high, but as low as 101. Anytime you can get Lowry in the 80s, I, I, I think it's good. Colin Sexton at 88 with a 62 to 104 range. And Trey Jones at 89.5 with a 74 to 112. Trey Jones outside the top 100. You should love it. Very intriguing to me that the Rock DJ has a higher ADP than Jaron Jackson. 91.6 is an ADP for Rob Williams. Someone took him at 55. Now, this was before... Sorry, this was after the injury news. 121 was the lowest he got picked. That is low. Bud Heald at 92.5 with a 75 to 107 range. Gaz Trent, 93.3. I'm coming around on those steals being harder to get and Trent maybe going a little bit higher if he maintains them. 65 to 109 was his range. Horford at 93.4 with a 70 to 111 range. His low scoring needs to be taken into consideration. Toby Harris, much different um, ADP here than other sites. Um, I think I am a TH. T to the H. Yeah, TH for life. 74 was his highest, 114th with his lowest, with an ADP of 95. He's ranked in the 50s on ESPN and on Yahoo. But no one wanted to go even into the top 70s to get him. Anthony Simons at 97. He went at 73, which is wildly early, but also 120, which is wildly late. And the depressed penis, Sadiq Bay at 97.2. 78 was his highest, and 111 his lowest. Here's Jaron Jackson, who went at 98 with a highest of 76. That's very early. And a low of 118. Gordon Haywood at 99. I, I love that for Haywood. The highest he went is 85. It's maybe pushing up to the edge of it, but 126 for Gordon Haywood is insane. Mitchie Robinson, 98.8. 73 to 121 range. 50 spot range. And how about Andy Wiggins' range? It's 80 spots. His ADP is 99. He went at 52 in one league and 134 in another. Now... He's got deficiencies. He's got the free throw problem. We know that. 52 is just... I can't get my head around it. I'm surprised to see Jeremy Grant with an ADP that is lower than Robinson and Wiggins. Now, I have been down on Grant heading into preseason, but his performances in preseason with his ability to generate more defensive stats have got me turning around a little bit on him. He went as high as 87, as low as 115. I could see 80 even for him now. Cam Johnson at 100, with the highest pick of 77. Whew, that is early, with a lowest of 119. And then Herbalife went at 62 in one draft. Huh? Why? Why would you do that? 101 was his average, and his lowest was 128. And Isaiah Jackson, 103.2. I love that value there. His highest was 85. I'm surprised no one went a little bit earlier. And the lowest was 122. Jalen Suggs was going at 104.3. This was before the injury. His highest was 90, lowest 122. We slide him way back. Monty Morris... 90 to 120 is the range. The ADP is 107. Brogdon at 107 as well with a 93-119 range. And Kuzma at 107 with a 98-122. No wild ones there. Zubats at 108. Nick Claxton at 108. And Brandon Clark at 109. Someone took Clark at 81. That's too high. And his lowest was 142. While Rowan Barrett at 110 with a highest of 76. <gasps> and the lowest of 131. Much like Wiggins, a gigantic range. And the last group of guys we're going to look at Vanderbilt went at 111. Um, Russell Westbrook went at 115. Price of the brick going up. With the highest of 76 and the lowest of 136. Portis at 116. Josh Hart, 118 with a 104, 130 range. Alinek at 119. I thought it'd be higher. His highest spot was 94 with the lowest of 159. Wow. Tyus Jones got drafted in one draft. Definitely someone mist mistaken him has mistaken him for Trey. He got picked at 119 in exactly one draft. 
And Spencer Dinwiddie, 121 and a half with the highest of 97 and the lowest of 152. And then the big stiffy, Bones Highland, went at 90 in one draft. What? Uh, average of 122.5, but also he went at 164, last rounder. What? There's some weird stuff with some of these ones. Um, some other ones that stand out, I'm going to put the full list up there. Um, Paul Reed went in one draft. Taylor Horton Tucker was drafted once. Thibel drafted seven times. Mark Williams was drafted once. Tari Eason had an ADP of 143, and he was drafted in 29 of 30 leagues. Shaden Sharp was drafted once. Wiseman went at 145 and the highest at 112. The only other two guys who went in the top 100, by the way, that I didn't mention were Nick Okongwu went at 97, Mike Conley went at 99, and Stephen Adams went at 97. Um, Jose Alvarado went in two leagues. Alexander Walker went in one. Obi Toppin went in one draft at 149. Bagley went in eight. Reggie Jackson went in eight. Josh Green went in one. Derek White went in 15 with the highest of 117. Um... Damian Jones went in five drafts. Gary Payton went in six. Andre Drummond went in five. Isaiah Livers went in one. Zach Collins went in one. Kaminga went in five. Uh, Emmanuel Quickly just in 12. Gafford in only seven. Cameron Payne in two. Why? Kevin Love in 17. Caleb Martin in 18. Caleb Martin starting for the Heat today in what is their dress rehearsal, by the way. Um... Paddy Connaughton went in one. TJ McConnell went in three. Trey Murphy went in 13. Surprised that hasn't gone up. Jalen Duran went in 16. John Isaac went in 18. Highest pick 149, though. Cody Martin went in one. Miles Bridges went in four with an average of 160. Hachimura went in one draft. I'm surprised to see that. The Bronco, Jalen Williams. Broncos country, let's ride. He went in 11 drafts, highest of 145. Someone picked Evan Fournier for some reason. Montrez Harrell went in one draft. Nikola Jovic, Little Chungus went in one draft. Zaire Williams went in one draft. Who else was interesting here? Sam Hauser. Jamal Cain went with the last pick in one draft as well. So, some interesting stuff. I will link that below. So check it out. Guys, follow this podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. If you made it to the end of this, congratulations. It was dry as shit. On YouTube, thumb it up and leave your comments down below. Guys, we are done here. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. See ya.